Today, we're gonna to be printing five must-haves in the workshop. Oh. Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Air's grown a little bit. Got a new tattoo. I know what you're thinking. Now, have I got something to show you? Check out this Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Now this, if you haven't guessed, is a 3D printer, but not just any 3D printer. This thing is insane. Now, before we get started, let me tell you a bit more about this little puppy. Now, this 3D printer is one of the most feature-rich flagship 3D printers, providing a fully automated workflow and AI-aided print job monitoring. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Now they've got an app for this thing. There's so much stuff that you can print. This is just workshop stuff. Maker World is their model platform. It offers a wide variety of models that you can print. And let's search Batman. Uh, there you go. You can make a bat cat hat for your cat. Now I could do with one of these to organize all my little bits and pieces. I've got like pencils and markers and nice strewn everywhere. So this will come in handy like bamboo handy. Now, all you gotta do is just find what you want, prepare to print, press that, select the colors that you want in the machine, press next, select your X1 carbon. As you can see, Zemedis. Press that, yep. Literally, just select print. It's that easy. Now, in this machine is a built-in camera. Can you see that up there? There it is. That is a little mini camera. Then in here, you just got your little SD card. Put that in there, and it will record the whole thing on time-lapse. Providing you've got this selected, obviously, in there. And then press Start Print, and you're away. Right, folks, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to start printing our first little project. And I think I want sort of maybe like a little shelf organizer. So let's just have a look. Shelf organizer. You could just press any one of these and just print straight off the bat. It's just brilliant. Never seen anything like this. Right, so which one am I going to go with? Uh, let's look at this one. This looks pretty cool, and that would fit quite nicely, actually, in my workshop. So you don't have to use the green. You can use black or pink. Up to you. Let's get cracking. Prepare to print. Next. And then select print. <laughs> Can't wait to see what this comes out like. Okay, this cobalt blue metallic PLA isn't fooling me, but it is metal-ish. Here we go, folks, the first print. Look at this. That is really cool. Little workshop organizer. That is nice. I mean, it's really smooth. I know exactly what I'm gonna put in this. Let's go and install this bad boy. So this is gonna be pretty simple for me. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. If you want to put some screws in the top of here, you could do. But my idea is I'm going to print a few of these. And these little puppies here, I've got these just hanging around the workshop. Just doubly, nicely. Look at that. All right, that one can stay on the floor. But perfect. Now I know exactly where they're going to be all the time. Yep, I was a guest at YouTube one day. Right, on to the next print. So just type in workshop. Let's have a look what we got under here. What about this little workshop organizer? Nice. Let's try yellow. Yup, that looks good. This is looking great in here. This is gonna come out really cool. Now this one's not so little. It's actually quite big. It took a little while, but it's pretty cool. Check this out. Now, I've already taken a few of the bits off of this, but I left a few on it because we all like the old crackle and pop, don't we? So. What's going on here? <laughs> There's more of it. So this is just the gump. 
the support that we don't really need. <laughs> it just keeps on coming. Look how clean that that just comes off. And we've got a little screw hole in the back there to screw in. Beautiful. All right, then we go again. <laughs> Lovely, such a clean finish. This is gonna be pretty handy to be fair in my workshop and I could put a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Look at this, I just love the way this looks. Might be able to just capsulate some of this and make something pretty cool from it. Now there's so many places that I could put this. So I think it's gonna go somewhere here which is near my lathe. We can put all sorts of bits and pieces. Oh, where did that go? <laughs> and there we go, folks. It's all tucked in there, lovely jubbly. <laughs> now we just got to fill it. That's really, really good organizer because all my stuff is always scattered all over the shop. So this is perfect. And I'm digging the yellow, aren't you? Right, next up folks, something that I always need in my workshop is a center finder. Let's check out and see if they've got a center finder. <laughs> I knew that they would have one. Look at this one, this looks perfect. Hey, just a job. Let's print this one, but I don't think I'm gonna go for another yellow. I think this time I'm gonna go for green. Now I used the green Bamboo Lab PLA that came with the printer for this one. It's really quite bright and I absolutely love it. Now I can find the center of anything. Now I think I've got a little funky idea with this center finder. Bear with me, I'm gonna add a little Shazam to it. Just added my logo to the center of the center finder and printed my first two color print. It's kind of cool how it sketches the shape first, then stacks it up layer by layer. I got something to show you. Boom! <laughs> Look at this, folks. Added a little bit of funk to this. Look at that, that is so cool. Oh, I can actually print something that I can use in my workshop. Now that has got to be jubbly bubbly, eh? I'll be honest, I like making things with my hands and this 3D printing does feel like cheating, but also I feel like now I've got workshop superpowers. Happy days. So let's do a couple more prints before we finish this one up. I've got some ideas I think you're gonna love. Now, how many of you have got these little badgers just lying around the shop with nowhere to put them and you lose them every five minutes? I know I do. So how about for our next trick, we make something to keep these really safe so you can't lose them ever again. Sound good? Me too. We want a small uh, screwdriver bit box is what we want. <laughs> Perfect! That's exactly what I'm looking for. Know what I'm saying? Now this model profile was set up on two plates and I used three colours. This time, instead of swapping colours every layer, the X1 prints each model before starting the next one. Look at this! Just gotta put this off. A little bit here. Oh yes. I mean, the finish in these, these prints are just incredible. Really, really good. This should just slot in there. Oh, ho, ho. this will fit nicely in my pocket. Now, I made another one. All right, let's see if these work. I mean, they fit in there perfectly. Nice and snug, like a little bug in a rug. 
Look at this. Oh, <laughs> now I'm never going to lose these ever again. Why don't you try and make your own bit bit box? Eh? I'm just going to do one last project for you. There's so many things that you can make with this thing. It is incredible. But we can't go on all day, can we? But I could actually, I could make so many things that would help me organize this workshop because it's crazy in here. There's stuff everywhere, including these. These are just scattered around. They're like just led up just on the shelf here and on the shelf there. But I thought actually, I wonder if they do something that would actually hold these really nicely, but easily accessible. Of course they do. Boom, perfect. That shouldn't take long at all. Let's have a look. Next up, yeah, that's what we want. Black. There we go, just under two hours. Happy days. And again, this thing is so simple to use. Press print, and I'm away. Having the camera built into this thing is just brilliant. I love it. <laughs> there we go. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's bent though, look. Hmm. You could hang off of that. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, folks. That is just... I know why now it's got a little bit of a bend on it. <laughs> it's got to go up that way, so it sort of... <gasps> Bear with me. I'm going to readjust it. Originally, I thought this was Ben, but actually it isn't. It's just me being silly. Because I think it should be like that. <laughs> That's better. It's actually supposed to be pointing up that way because originally when I pulled it out of the printer, I thought it was a little bit of bent. It's bent though, look. But actually, I think it's designed like that so that when you put on your discs, they don't fall off. <laughs> now you're talking, now you're talking, eh? Oh, happy days. They're not gonna, <laughs> well, they will fall off if you're gonna spin it like that. Originally, I thought it was not designed right, but it actually is. It's just me being silly. There's so many things you could print with this machine. It's just insane. And it can also, huh? Two sex. What's that? Oh. Sorry for the interruption, folks, but we've got to take a short toilet break. We'll be back soon. You done yet? Ah. These printers have to poop as well, you know. Yep, <laughs> we've got our very own printer poop. But I thought it was quite complicated to do 3D prints, but this machine is insane. It's just so simple. A little bit different to my normal content, but I thought, you know, as I haven't really posted a lot these days, and I know some of you have been missing me, some of you may have not missed me, but I'm hoping you're gonna love this because it's so cool and it is so useful in anyone's workshop. Now folks, I'll leave a link in my description for you to check this out. And I would urge you to do it because it is an absolutely insane machine. So this is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo 3D Printer. But they do other unit sizes according to your own needs. If you're coming to make a central, I'm gonna try and see if I can bring one of these. If I can, I'll get this on display and you're gonna love seeing this. We are on for May the 18th. We've got Jimmy DeResta back. He's gonna be doing some demos all weekend. Colin First is back. Taylor's Murfield are back in the house. I'll be there on the merch stand with some new merch. It's gonna be an absolutely awesome show, folks, and I'd love to see you there. Grab a ticket, link is also below. Thanks for joining me today, and thanks for sticking with me to check out the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. It's awesome, I think you'll agree.